Hey guys, it's Holly, and I know that I haven't been on here in a little bit. Life has been crazy. Um, <clears throat> so I just wanted to hop on here and chat with you guys. I know I used to do these videos often where I would just get on and tell you what's going on in my life right now. So I figured since I'd missed like a month or two, I can't really remember, um, I figured I would get on and share what's going on in the pineapple family life. <laughs> um, a lot, really. If it's funny, it feels like a lot's going on. And I'm sorry, guys. Oh my gosh, this is a horrible idea. I'm in a spinny chair. So now I can't stop doing this, which I'm sure is driving some people absolutely nuts. I shall try to sit still, but I cannot promise a thing. It feels like so much has been going on in my life. And it also feels like I've done literally nothing for the past two months. Like, like where did the, it's already April, which guys, it's my birthday month. Yay! I'm so excited. I have so many videos planned, so many projects planned, so many things going on. You know how much I might even have a giveaway coming up for my birthday because you know I love to celebrate my birthday and share gifts. That's my love language gifts. Oh my gosh, I gotta sit still. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm a hot mess. Anyways, it's just been like so much going on and so much not going on. I know I already said that. Uh, let's start with family. Boom. Let's start with Mr. Pineapple's health because everybody always asks about Mr. Pineapple's health. He is doing okay. <laughs> we'll start with that. So as you guys know, or if you do not know, I shall fill you in right now. Mr. Pineapple has a kidney failure, so he is on dialysis. Um, for a while, we were doing dialysis at home. And at first, it was great. It made him feel better. But it's actually a lot, guys. It's like a lot because... When you do dialysis in center, you do it three days a week. And it's like every other day. When you do it at home, you do it every day. Well, you do it five days a week. So five versus three. And at first, you it feels better because it it's very complicated. But basically, when you're doing it in the center, it's kind of rougher. And when you're doing it at home, it's gentler. But it's more time consuming because setting up the machine takes all day. And there's all this process. And so we did this for... Oh, we've been doing it for like four or five months and here at home. And again, it was great, but then it was also a lot of stress on him because he was responsible for everything. And we had issues with, sorry, my nose is all itchy because the minute I get on camera, my nose gets itchy. So I know, whatever guys, I, I am who I am, but who, whatever. Um, we had issues with his machine. We had issues with his fistula. Um, and actually his fistula stopped working recently which was a whole thing I don't I don't like to be negative so I don't want to talk about it but there was a whole situation that led to that and made me very angry but anyways he had to get another catheter put in his chest and had to get a um um catheter put in his chest and then they had to put a graft in his arm because the fistula is not working and we actually just had that surgery two days ago he's gotten the graft um, so he's kind of resting and he's tired. And I actually, we also decided for him to go back in center versus doing it at home. I mean, it's nice having him home, but it was so much stress on him to be responsible for absolutely everything. And then, of course, I, um, kind of bleeding over here into me, I was working full time and doing dialysis with him and stuff. And it actually got to be too much. And so I'll talk about me in a second. Let's finish talking about him. It was just a lot so he decided to go back in center so he's back in center right now and um doing good i mean it's a little hard on him he just started his first treatment today so uh, he had a surgery a couple days ago started his treatment today and he's feeling a little tired so he's um he's in the room napping i don't have to be quiet mr pineapple could sleep through a bear attack like it could be attacking him and he would probably just be like huh and roll over sleeps through everything so I don't have to be quiet he's fine but he's doing good um perfectly fine we are in the middle of getting working on getting on the transplant list so that is hopefully happening soon um yeah I think that's about it with Mr. Pineapple uh so now I will talk about me um I had went back to work full-time and I loved it I was working at a wonderful doctor's office I absolutely love my co-workers they're all amazing but with Mr. Pineapple's health issues and all of that, it got to be too much. So I have come back home to take care of my husband and my children and my YouTube channel, because I love my YouTube channel. 
but mostly my husband and my children and all my pets. You guys know I love my pets. Um, <laughs> yeah, my daughter's back there pointing like she, I love her. But anyways, I love all my children. Um, so I'm not working. I'm back home. I am going to be starting a business here at the house. I'll tell you guys all about that here in a second. Uh, but uh, health-wise, I am doing great. I'm actually doing a little too good. <laughs> it's funny to say. Um, so you guys know I am a type 2 diabetic. And my diabetes was wildly out of control. Just wildly out of control. Um, I didn't talk about it often with you guys because I just don't like to focus on the negative, but bad. Let's just start with bad. Um, if you know anything about diabetes, I was waking up in the morning with a fasting blood sugar of three, 400, which is absolutely astronomical. It's really, really bad. I probably should have been dead, guys. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I probably should have been dead. But um, they put me on some medication. It's one of those new shots. And it worked amazingly. Uh, not only, I mean, most importantly, it got my blood sugar under control. That is the most important thing. My A1C is so low now that I'm not even technically a diabetic, but I'm always going to be a diabetic. Uh, and I lost a lot of weight. I've lost like 65 pounds, which is just amazing. Again, I didn't do it to lose the weight. I'm not one of those people. I didn't really care. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and be like, oh no, I wish I was bigger. No, I'm happy with the weight loss, but it was not the reason I did it. More importantly, blood sugar's under control. I'm no longer, you know, damaging my eyes and you know, limbs and stuff because diabetes causes all kinds of bad things. I do have a bit of neuropathy in my feet because of how bad my diabetes was. And my vision is way worse than it used to be. Although I do love glasses. You guys know I love my glasses. Anyways, so I'm happy and I'm doing healthy and they're actually um, bringing down the dose of my medication because it's working so well. So that is wonderful because the less meds you can be on, the better. So happy and healthy. Um, Yep, I think that's about it. Again, we'll talk about like the YouTube channel and the business in a minute. Uh, I did get a new family member. And I want to introduce you to my new family member. So I'm going to I'm gonna pause this for a minute and I'm going to be right back. Okay, sorry about that. I had to go get somebody. So um, at the beginning of this year or right around Christmas, I don't remember exactly when, but my son's golden doodle had puppies. Which was amazing because we had only ever had Shih Tzu puppies in our family. And you guys know Shih Tzus are tiny. Cute little tiny puppies. She had eight. Eight giant golden doodles. Oh my goodness, they were huge. And that was a process to find them loving homes. But I ended up finding them a bunch of really great homes. They were wonderful. And after that process of having, because we really had ten dogs in the house. Because we had mom and dad and then we had the eight puppies. It was insane. Oh, and okay. Hmm, rabbit trail. Back it up. You guys know, I told you at the beginning of the year that unfortunately, at the end of last year, my Shih Tzu, my 10 year old Shih Tzu that has been with me for 10 years and I loved and adored her. She was like my best friend died, sadly. And so it was really heartbreaking. And so we said for a long time, we said, if we ever got another dog, um, she was a Pekingese Shih Tzu. And so we thought we'd get a Pekingese. But then guys, I have always loved always loved basset hounds i think they're amazing there's just nothing else to say except for they're amazing their ears are beautiful i've always loved them so i said i was gonna get a basset hound but after having eight puppies and two dogs in the house i was like no <laughs> i don't want any more dogs are you freaking kidding me they're little poo factories and driving me nuts well jara's mom has a couple of dogs the mother is a Chihuahua Minpin, and the father is a Pug Min Chihuahua. So Chihuahua Minpin, Pug Chihuahua. And you can ask anybody who knows me, and I will tell you one dog that I will never own is a Chihuahua, because I don't like Chihuahuas. I, I think they're cute. I've met a few that I liked. I don't want to own one. They're not anything I want. Anyways, she had six puppies. She decided to keep one. And she asked if, since we were so good at getting rid of puppies, she asked if we could help her get rid of the puppies. <sighs> That's where the downfall happens, guys. So I walked into her house going, I don't want a dang chihuahua. Because these, these dogs are like 50% chihuahua. And I was like, I don't want a chihuahua. I don't need a chihuahua. <sighs> and I pick up this thing. <laughs> this is mini muffins. <laughs> 
Look at her. She's got a little pearl and crystal collar. Okay, Minnie won't look at you guys. Minnie, look at the camera. Minnie, look at the camera. Oh, there it is. Look at her. So I pick her up and I instantly fall in love with Minnie Muffins. So I decided to keep her because I love her. I want to spin her collar around because I love the sparkles. There it is. There it is. I'm sorry. Star's coughing at the side. Anyways, so she's my new pet. Because, are you kidding me? A chihuahua? Oh, you guys are. She just woke up, so she's all mad because Star went and took her out of her sunny spot so she could be here on the photos with us. But yeah, so you guys are going to see so much more of my sweet little mini because she's my new emotional support chihuahua. One more time, look at the camera. Look at her. Look at her little face. Look at her little collar. Her tiny, look at how tiny she is. Ah, I love her. And it's so funny because I, I won't be home. I love you too, Minnie. I won't be home and I'll be like, I gotta get rid of that dog. I don't like chihuahuas. And then I get home and I see this face and I'm like, oh, I changed my mind. I like Minnie. All right. But it doesn't end there because I made the mistake of taking Star with me to pick up the puppies from Grandma. And Star fell in love with this guy. This is Marco and Marco is not having it at all. He's got his bow tie collar on. He looks more like a wiener dog. Look how long his body is. It's so funny. But so Starlet fell in love with Marco. Try to get his attention, so he'll pay attention here. We got his little bow tie because he's a proper gentleman. And so Star got a puppy too. She talked her dad into getting a puppy because the last thing we needed was puppies. I'll let him go. He wants to go find his sister. So yeah, we have two new puppies. We still have the mom and dad, the golden and the labradoodle. And then we have the two puppies, and obviously we have all of our kitty cats. Oh, and it's just crazy. I didn't need puppies, guys, but I have puppies. And I love them so much. They're so cute. Oh, guys, you know what? If I get a chance, I'll take a picture, and I'll show you. They went over. We have a big picture window right, like, over there, guys. You can't see it. It's over there, I promise. Big picture window. <laughs> and they're laying in the sun spot on the floor. It's the cutest. And actually, Stitches McYarney will go and cuddle with them sometimes. Sometimes he then beats them up. <laughs> Sometimes he cuddles them. We never know what's going to happen with stitches. But they're in there lay laying on each other right now. They're so, so cute. So, yes, yeah, got them. So, that's pretty much what's going on in my life. Let's see. Um, okay, sorry about that. I had to get permission to talk about Teen Pineapple. No, I'm kidding. Ara. He is about to be 18, you guys. Boo. I know. Boo. He needs to go back to being a cute, adorable little boy. He's going to be 18, and he's tall. It's ridiculous. But anyways, he has been doing great. He's pretty healthy and happy. Except for we did go to the doctor recently because he's been complaining from some stuff. And so I took him. And apparently he's like super flat-footed. Like super duper flat-footed to the point where we got to go get custom orthotics made. So we're doing that. And then also, he just in the last couple of months was complaining about his shoulder. And I was like, well, you know, you're a teen boy and, you know, you do stuff. Maybe you, we try, I was like, you're probably laid on it wrong you know, stretches, whatever. And I took him to my doctor who is amazing. And she was like, no, his shoulders, so, cause he was complaining of the one shoulder. It felt like it was pointing forward. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, was coming forward. The one shoulder was coming forward. And she goes, yeah, that shoulder is forward because the other shoulder is going way back. Apparently she said like his shoulders were like crooked and twisted. And I was like, what? So, now we're going to a chiro we got an appointment with a chiropractor so aside from that though teen pineapple's doing great uh, he's about to be a grown man he's not a teen pineapple anymore he's about to be a man pineapple <laughs> and then princess pineapple star now oh yeah princess pineapple is going to become the teen pineapple because her birthday is coming up as you guys know i am such a gracious mother i let her have her birthday in my birthday month too um, so, no, no, Star was one of my original birthday presents. She, her birthday is two weeks before mine, so her birthday is coming up. She's going to be 15, you guys. 15. I said that correctly. 15. If you guys go back in time and watch my first ever video, do it. It's funny. One, I'm awkward, and she's this cute little thing trying on a cat hat, and she's adorable. And now she's 15. She's all sassy. And all attitude and thinks she knows everything. She doesn't. I'm smart. 
she's smart she is smart though they're all smart i love them all so very very much but anyway so she's doing great you know she suckered her dad into getting her a puppy that she did not need i'm looking i'm like i don't need a dog are you kidding me that was something i didn't need in my life uh and then our little baby squishy pineapple is 10 <sighs> guys do you remember when he would be on the videos and he could barely talk he was such a little squishy baby and now he's 10 oh my gosh and growing he'll be taller than me in a year or two it's ridiculous why do kids grow up i'm kidding <laughs> i love them so life's doing pretty good i mean we have our ups and downs you know with health issues and stuff like that but we're doing pretty good um i'm at this i just can tell i'm at this awkward phase where my perm from last year is growing out so from here to about here is not permed and all of this is perm but i didn't put any product in it so it's just all dry and frizzy also guys look look at the grays coming in can you guys see the gray hair coming in i love it this is all my natural color there's no dye in this anymore so all this weird i don't know shading it's all natural but i can't wait for it to all go gray like this that's what i want that's gonna be amazing my sister oh my gosh i hate her she has this beautiful dark hair and then right here like this big hunk of hair went like this beautiful whitey gray it looks amazing and she she has that kind of hair where she could just grab it and throw it into a messy bun and it looks fabulous and i like spend three hours brushing my hair and still look like a hobo on the side of the street it's insane so yeah i hate her just kidding love you Ju. <laughs> anywho um yep that's pretty much what's going on in my life so channel wise okay as you guys know this channel was traditionally a knitting and crocheting channel and it is still going to be a knitting and crochet channel Recently, I did upload more videos of my collections and stuff like that. And that is because my life is very busy, guys. It's, it's very busy. I don't have time to crochet and knit all the time. I, although I'm going to talk about some, I've got a list of crochet and knitting I have to do. We'll talk about that here in two seconds. And so what I'm going to do is turn this channel into more of a lifestyle slash crochet knitting channel so I'm gonna just do videos you know talking about my life and things that are going on I will talk I will do videos about crochet and knitting I'm gonna do videos about the things I collect videos about shopping because you guys know I'm a shopaholic love to shop I need rehab for that but I wouldn't go because there's no shopping um <laughs> so that's what's gonna be happening here on the channel I hope that you guys are on board for that so I'm just going to try to post videos about just everything instead of just one thing. I will still be talking about knitting and crocheting, which I'll talk about that right now. Um, oh my gosh, you guys. So, so many people we know are having babies. So many. Like two, three, four people are having babies I know. So I am working on baby blankets. And I'm also going to make teddy bears. You guys know my um, Lucas um teddy bear pattern i'm gonna make teddy bears for each of the babies and then the one lady at church who's having a baby it's her fourth daughter she has three little girls and so i am going to i think i'm gonna make them each a doll because i haven't made a doll in a while actually i have i have like half i have like two half dolls made that i need to finish i need to get back into it so i'm gonna do that if you hear talking in the background the boys are chit-chatting and like because again no you're fine this isn't a life channel this is what happens in our lives. Children talk, guys, so that's what's gonna happen on my channel, it's children talking, it's fine. But anywho, I'm gonna make a bunch of stuff. So if you guys have any knitting patterns for baby blankets, I really wanna knit some baby blankets. Easy ones, I want like simple, not too complicated, easy patterns. Um, yeah, so if you have any of that, let me know, because I'm trying to find stuff I like and i'm trying to make baby blankets yeah i think that's what i want to do also okay so my bear pattern uses um the red heart hugi yarn hugi i can't ever say that word yarn to make the bear and that comes in like gray a blue like a light blue a navy a pale pink and a maroon and a cream and i'm pretty happy with that but the one lady at church who's having a baby, her son who is, is he three? I think. Yeah. Four? I think he's two. Actually, two or three. Two or three. He's two or three. 
he, I want to make him a bear too, because like matching bears, because he's having a little sister. So I want to make him a bear too. Um, he, he needs, he like his favorite color is red. <laughs> it's like red, red, not like maroon. And so what I need to do is find a fuzzy worsted weight yarn that's red. So if you guys have any ideas, please leave them down in the comments because again, I'm lost. I got no idea what to do here. So fuzzy red yarn, need that. Um, yeah, and that's what I'm doing for crochet and knitting right now is a bunch of projects for people having babies because they love babies. Um, and then, you know, again, I circle back to the beginning of the video here. I told you guys I was going to do some stuff at home because I at least stopped working. I went back to work to, you know, bring in some extra income for the family. That didn't work because of the health issues and now I'm home. Star, please stop shaking your leg. You're shaking my camera. We live in an old farmhouse. I forget when this house was built, but it's old, like really old. And so people walk. 1834. It was built when? 1834. What? Dang, that's old. Is that, are you serious? Yeah. My son said that the original part of the house, which we're in the original part, there is an add-on. The original part of the house was built in 1834. That means it's almost 200 years old. Wow, that's old. I believe it's a very old house. But anyways, so when people walk the floor, shake. She's sitting over at the table and she's shaking her foot, shakes the camera across the room. It happens. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So I'm home now and... One thing that I love to do, you guys know that I love thrifting. And so I do a ton of thrifting and I'm, people always ask me, you know, oh, where'd you get that? Oh, I wish I could find stuff like that. Or while you're out, can you help me find stuff like that? So I have started picking up things that I find and reselling them. Um, right now I'm mostly selling on like eBay and Macari and Facebook, um, which I will link below my accounts there um there might not be anything up right now because I'm, I'm in the middle of reposting stuff yeah so that's what i'm doing so if you're interested ever interested and i will be doing again because now i'm going to be doing more lifestyle stuff there will be thrifting hauls on here and stuff like that and then just you know shopping hauls because you guys know i'm addicted to shopping for like toys see my little funkos do you see this 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 weird thing i don't know where this oh let me reach back i can't i can't see there it is me and my daughter walk into a Goodwill. I have no idea the brand of this. I have, I have literally no idea. It doesn't say. It doesn't say. Anyways, we walk into a Goodwill, and there was a pink and a purple one of these weird monsters. The purple one looks different. And they're sitting there, and it's all soft and squishy. And I instantly fell in love with this little thing. Isn't she cute? I love her so much. So see... This is what I do. I go shopping and buy stuffies because that's the kind of person I am, guys. But anywho, I just wanted to get on here and update you guys. Again, I feel so bad I didn't put on any videos. And now I'm going to be back putting out videos. Um, I have a bunch of great stuff coming up. Oh, I should tell you, because it's my birthday month and because it's Princess's birthday month. Um, I am taking her to her first ever concert, like real concert. Um, there's this place here near us called the gospel barn that does concerts every saturday night in the spring summer fall kind of time um christian music obviously and we went to those but those are it's it's low i mean there's maybe two three maybe 400 people fit in there i don't know anyways it's a very small little building and it's really nice but we've been to a few of those but this one is an artist she really really likes happens to be in concert with an artist i like and we are going to go to their concert here at the end of the month. Um, he's a, um, I'm going to say the name of the artist I like wrong, probably. Sorry, guys. I'm not so good at it. But I love this Christian artist by the name Jordan Feliz. And I, I love his music. And Star fell in love with the music of Colton Dixon. And so they happen to be on the Love and Lights tour. And I was so excited because it's actually like kind of far away. And at first, I was trying to see about taking her to a concert, but the closest one that came to us was over five hours away. And I was like, uh, I don't know. And they, had, by a miracle of God, of course, uh, they added more dates 
and they added one right on April, is it the 27th or the 21st? The 21st, the 21st, April 21st. It's going to be in Ohio. And so that is only, the location in Ohio is only about two hours away from us. So I was able to get us tickets and we're gonna go and I'm so excited. So I will obviously be filming some of that. I will film like me and Star on our trip and chit chatting and there'll be photos, it'll be fun. I'm so excited. Um, let's see. Favorite song by Colton Dixon. I'll see what Star's favorite song is by Colton Dixon, and then I'll tell you what mine is. What's your favorite song, Star? That's mine too. The Devil is a Liar. If you haven't heard it, look it up. Love that song. It's super good. And then my favorite by Jordan Police is um, The River. I love The River. Um, I don't think Star has a favorite. She's not a fan, a fan of his. Which is funny because she sound he sounds just like Colton Dixon. But anyways, it's funny. She's over there shaking her head. No, mom, you're crazy. Um, and then let's see. Oh, at the end of the month, our church is having this big ladies brunch. And so I've got so much going on there. We are doing these um like fake little terrariums. The theme is like books and writing the next chapter in your life. God writing the next chapter in your life. And so we're doing like old books and these little terrariums sitting on it. And I, like a silly person, because, you know, I'm not busy enough in my life right now, I raised my hand and said I'd be a part of the decorating committee. <laughs> and so I've been going to, like, Goodwills, because, again, I thrift all the time. And I've been buying, like, little glass containers to make terrarium. So that's going to be happening this month. I will obviously keep you guys updated on that and share photos, because it's actually, we went over to a lady, at, um, the other lady on the decorating committee's house, and had, like, a brunch, and we decorated a few and, and did some, like, mock setups and they're so cute i'm so excited it's going to be really really adorable i'll share photos with you guys but anywho i'm gonna get out of here and you guys will see me again soon because obviously i'm gonna to try to post more and more videos um <music>